are into farming, while the women engage in petty trading and other income-generating activities. But most of them are now without jobs. They are accused of witchcraft. My grandmother is saying that when somebody passes away, at times the most painful aspect is that as an old lady like her, you will see that they will start playing some games, asking whether who killed the person, who killed the person. So when you are old like this, really, you'll be in threat. They are unable to stand the public ridicule and hatred. This thing can go to as many as 10 people's houses. And that means that all these 10 people are responsible for the death of that disease. The ladies are those that are normally accused because there is this uh, misconception that all ladies are witches. It's difficult for her to even enter into crowd when his people, maybe his colleagues, guard it. Their children are worse off. I am the only one who is trying to come out to the general public and to come out, associate myself with my colleagues, socialize with them, but it has not been easy for me at all. My brother is said that he can't even come out of the room. For 24 hours he's in the room. He can't come out just because of this stigmatization. The result is their businesses collapsing. It was this woman who could move around with her trading things and to come out with some uh, income to help these kids in the school. She's a trader. She used to sell a uh, pomade, this small, small pomade, to, to maybe look after his, uh, his children, those who are in secondary school and those who are in GHS. But for now, even when he sends his things outside, people don't, reach, people don't even buy them. Salamatu has been accused of witchcraft, had her house burnt, and banished from the community. She is now putting up with her five children in this single room. She has lost her business as a result, and her five children have all withdrawn from school. She tells me a meal a day comes with pain and struggle. How to get money to even uh, buy water to drink for a day is a problem. Feeding money is a problem for us. The women and their children are calling on stakeholders to come to their rescue. And we stay in Gonja, where residents of West Gonja say they have seen massive improvement um, in infrastructure in the district. They commended government, particularly for speeding up development in education and health facilities. The district can boast of good infrastructural development. We visited some schools and at about 7 a.m., classrooms were full to capacity. Teachers had also turned out in their numbers and teaching and learning was ongoing. Although the district GES director admits her office is under-resourced to undertake effective monitoring and supervision, she would not tolerate teacher absenteeism. If you don't work, you don't, you don't talk. So for the number of days you stay away from school, you do sign up for number of, uh, those number of days and it's paid back to government chests. The district chief executive, district Ali Kasim, in order to support education in the district, donated motorbikes to be used in monitoring and supervision. He has donated 26 laptops to the office to support administrative work and also ICT lessons. We have realized that ICT has become a team of the uh, past and the uh, people in this system want to be well notified. So we have also organized uh, I computed from JPEG to also support ICTs in the various GHS we have in the district. Ali Kasim is hopeful the gesture will improve educational standards in the district and also encourage others to also support teaching and learning in the area.